Emotions are high as our hearts break, and we really try once again to find a solution to shootings at U.S. schools. Today, we reached out to three Minnesota reps who have opposed gun control legislation. Republican Representative Tom Emmer, Pete Stauber, and Michelle Fishbach all declined to be interviewed. Emmer and Fishbach did provide statements, but they did not address our question about gun legislation, instead saying it's a heartbreaking and devastating tragedy. From there, Fox 9's Karen Scullin spoke with the Minnesota Gun Caucus to find out if it would consider tighter gun laws. You're out, of, you're out of line. It's back and forth once again after a mass school shooting. Democrats and many other groups want more gun control laws. Every town for gun safety saying this needs to be the moment when our nation draws the line and when our lawmakers start doing their job and pass common sense laws to keep us safe. Republicans, meanwhile, want to focus on mental health. The ability of an 18-year-old to uh, buy a long gun has uh, been in place uh, in the state of Texas for more than 60 years. Think about during the time over the course of that 60 years. We have not had episodes like this. And why, why is it that for the majority of those 60 years, we did not have school shootings? And why is it that we do now? The reality is I don't know the answer to that question. One thing that has substantially changed is the status of mental health in our communities. Rob Dorr with the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus agrees it's just not as simple as stricter gun laws. Right now we're seeing calls for pieces of gun control that are utterly irrelevant uh, to the to the shooting that unfolded and I think that's what's unfortunate is when there's that emotional that that reaction things like calling for universal background checks when this individual passed a background check that's not really addressing anything of the core issues. Dorr says we have have to get to the root of the problem and then if it's determined tighter gun laws will help that's when the conversation should happen. If there is a clear issue that that uh, a, an individual is exploiting that uh, doesn't fall under the protections of the Second Amendment we're always willing to to explore those. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.